all insects have segmented body plans and they make those segments when they are still developing embryos. The first way, a more ancestral way, is to make them one by one or sequentially, so adding one after another. The other way of making segments is to make them all at once by simultaneously subdividing the entire embryo length. Even though these two ways of making segments are as different as can be, it seems quite easy for evolution to switch between one and another. My work uses mathematical models to characterize these two ways of making segments in a way that will then allow us to compare them and learn about them. The disciplines of the fellows here are very heterogeneous. So you have philosophers, mathematicians, anthropologists, biologists. It is very interesting to see how these different people approach these problems from different angles and personally I think that's the way that science should be done. I'm Berta Bert and I'm a write-up fellow at the KLI. What makes some biological system an individual? Is it the capacity to undergo selection or is it some form of physiological integration? And then I'm trying to apply these external tools in order to describe and explain the huge diversity that emerges with multicellularity. <laughs>